Hey guys, I know I haven't uploaded in a minute, but I'm going to discuss that later at the end of the video if you stick around, so let's go ahead and get into it. Back in February, I made a video debating if the Spurs should tank. Back then, it was a heated topic about what was better for the team. To go for the win, or to take a step back and reevaluate so that we can come back stronger. While some people still wanted to win with DeJounte, I think it was clear that he would not take us all the way. And we got ourselves into the same position as many other teams right now. Being stuck in the same spot in standings for years. Being too bad for the playoffs, but too good for a rebuild and to hit the full reset button. While DeJounte was great for us, he was our only good piece for a while. Had DeJounte signed the Supermax, it's estimated that he would have had $212 million for 5 years. He would have been the 3rd highest Supermax in history behind Giannis at $228 million, James Harden at $227 million, and above Rudy Gobert, Luka Doncic, and Stephen Curry. DeJounte obviously isn't worth as much as Curry or Giannis, despite everything that he has done for the Spurs. But even if he was, we couldn't give him that because of the bigger picture. The Spurs have a young core, which means that there are a lot of shorter contracts like Trey Jones with only a three year, and many with two years, <clears throat> meaning a lot of contracts would be available for extension soon. With giving DeJounte the Supermax, the Spurs would have no money left over to re-sign other great players like Lonnie Walker IV that left for the Lakers, or to acquire other great pieces that may come along the way. The Spurs always had an amazing team system. While DeJounte was a great cornerstone, we can't succeed with only one or two great players, so we let him go in exchange for getting some new pieces in the future, and for them to work in conjunction with each other. Now, when we got rid of DeJounte, I expressed my excitement for the new lineup in my recent mini-movie, but for those that watched all the way through, there was a post credit scene, and you should already know where I'm going with this. Victor Wimbayama is simply a different breed. Much like Chet Holmgren and Sohan, his biggest asset is his defensive ability being 7-2. He's able to get blocks and rebounds and able to keep the ball in play rather than just swatting it out of bounds. He has excellent shooting as well with a 30% three-point percentage. But rather than just listing his stats, let's talk about why the Spurs are a great piece for him. Now I actually want to talk about one of his weaknesses first and why it's a great weakness to have with the spot the Spurs are in right now. When Bayama coming in with shooting is great for the Spurs. The Spurs were known for the longest time for having the best development camp and team in the league. But now we have lost Chip England, who is an essential part to that development. However, Chip's biggest claim to fame is his ability to coach shooting, especially big players like Kawhi. But Wimbayama is already coming in with sufficient shooting. Victor's biggest weakness is actually his passing. I know it may confuse some people because Victor definitely has his fair share of playmaking highlights. But again, the Spurs win by being a team and sharing the ball. And currently, Victor does not have a great turnover to assist ratio. That is Wimbayama's biggest weak spot when coming into the Spurs. That being said, he is able to build off the rest of his team's strengths, which is obviously a big need for wanting to move as a unit. On previous draft picks or prospects, I've expressed as well how they are better on or off ball and are less efficient at the other. Victor Wimbayama seems to be efficient at any position of the floor and shows hustle everywhere he is. He doesn't wait for the play to come to him, he gets him and his teammates into the play, which is exactly what the Spurs want. As for how he fits on the team specifically, I broke it down a little bit in my draft preview, but Primo would have another big that he could play make with especially with Victor's uncontested ability to catch lobs and dunks, but also being able to hit threes on the arc. This matchup is a lot like Drew Holiday lobbing it to Giannis, or Kyrie passing to KD on the arc. Sohan and Victor would also be a perfect defensive pairing, as Sohan is smaller and can guard the arc and backcourt as Victor defends the paint. Again, similar to Drew Holiday being a great defensive asset for steals on the Bucks guarding their smaller guards, 
while Giannis gets blocks in the paint on the bigger players that come through. Malachi is also a great mid-range shooter, so the Spurs would now be able to space the floor incredibly with players that are great in all different areas. Malachi would also be able to pull off some great pick and roll highlights with Wimbayama when Primo isn't lobbing it up. With all that being said, Victor will still have to work when he's drafted. Despite being the highest prospect, again he does have his weaknesses just like everybody else. And despite his defense and height being massively hyped up, he actually averages way less points and even rebounds than Luka when he was in the Euroleague despite Luka being a much smaller position that would be less likely to get these boards. Anyway, with that being said, I'm excited for next season. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. As always, share the video and subscribe as it really helps me out, and I'm trying to hit 500 subs by the end of the year. Again, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a minute, guys. I've been working a lot, and I'm trying to move into a new apartment, which I'm excited to show you guys. But I... I am recording an episode with CJ Hoop Talk soon, so I'll release that whenever we record it. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching to the end, and I'll have some more videos for you guys out shortly. And I'll see y'all in the next one. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now.